There's a certain rhythm you fall into when you're hiking. Last summer, I went backpacking in Sequoia Kings Canyon National Park for two weeks off trail, tripping over logs, scaling down mountains, sleeping under tarps. Transitioning back into civilian life, I found myself seeking to feel that rhythm again. Inspired, I set off on a different kind of adventure, finding the intersection between art and backpacking. I began my exploration like any other project, blindly stumbling, running my hands over the wall, trying to find the light switch. My first piece comes from the idea of how survival is wholly dependent on your feet. It is how you travel to each campsite, how you find water, how you cross rivers. My second piece is a painting influenced by vivid memories, sitting on my pack under the grueling sun for what seemed only a brief second before standing back up to backpack halfway across earth. My third is a drawing of Johan, a special character from my backpacking group who I'll always remember. But after making these pieces, I didn't feel the connection. To bridge backpacking and art, I realized that I needed to go back outdoors and pave a new experience. I felt my fingers make contact with the cool light switch, heard the soft click, light filling the room with brilliance. Sophomore year, I visited the MoMA, losing myself in the infinite white spaces of artwork. I would squint at each looming painting and simply glance over at the little white box of text next to it. I read the title, artist, year, and a bunch of gibberish I was too impatient to read. However, in this past year, while investigating the connection between backpacking and art, I've realized that the little white box of text was most important. It's the history, a glimpse into the artist's thoughts. A lot of people think that art is just about how pretty the surface looks. But I believe that the questions, experiments, failures, and the drafts are more profound than the final piece. It's the intentional thought behind each action, choosing what to draw on and how. I repurpose sticks, rocks, and leaves into brushes. I recycle mud and water into paint. I draw on the back of old cardboard boxes, sun chip boxes, shoe boxes to reinforce the merge with nature. I substitute leaves for palette paper, again manipulating natural material to draw. I'm constantly looking for new ways to reclaim raw material into art. In my room, I have a stash of cardboard and bark lining the wall, an Adidas shoe box filled with leaves from October, and dog poop bags protecting rocks, sticks, and more leaves. My adventure came into a sudden halt when COVID-19 caused South Mountain to close. I was barred from running back to the one place I found peace. So I revised my plan and experimented with new ways to integrate the convenient stash of natural material I had in my room. Finally, I ended up drawing a mountain from Sequoia Kings Canyon on a mask made from paper grocery bag to symbolize how the mountains are calling, but I'm trapped in the one place that is keeping me safe. Throughout my endeavors, I've learned that the earth and art are intertwined with all its light, smell, warmth, and texture. <laughs>